Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. A minute ago the sunshine was dazzling and now it's about to start raining here. And so that's very unusual. Pretty welcome too. Um, I have something to explain that I finally found out about groups and grouping and the eighth chakra bow tie which we've been well it's been blocked before on my on my blog site and uh, so you could look under that category for the background information but this this new information is pretty important for almost everyone on earth right now and it goes something like this um, you see we're all rising to consciousness on the astral plane right and um, the astral plane is a plane of, of the emotional body and um, it has very little mental thoughts in it um, and the physical plane is a mixture of astral and emotional so so what is happening is that as groups are expanding into an uh, awareness of of their astral bodies which is are more refined uh, energies than the physical body um, everyone is becoming clair, clairaudient, clairvoyant and all those other clairs right and so one of the first things that seems to happen for groups is that the followers in a group, not the leader but the followers are the first to become clear audience uh, and what they are hearing are the um, the the daydreams of their leader the daydreams that the leader is is feeling um, due to unresolved soul wounding generally now the problem with with groups in the physical reality right now at the beginning of the great age of light um, is that they have been become accustomed to following the um, the subliminal commands of group leaders which may be why the advice was put out by other ascension teachers uh, last year to to try to steer clear of, of groups because as we become more as we become more clear we may and before we reach the level of integration of the physical and the astral plane the third and fourth dimensions we can as as followers of groups we can be led into um, into acting out behaviors by suggestions that are really daydreams of the leader of a group okay so it's it's important to develop a sense right away right now of who we are you know and of making our own decisions and not um, following the subliminal suggestions of group leaders you see especially for groups that are used to um, blindly following the um, the advice of their leaders and for which there's not much democratic choice this is very important to switch gears right now and instead consult our own higher levels our own higher energies and find out whether we should act in the world in a certain way or not okay in the past I've given this this uh, general rule of thumb and that is just don't do anything criminal don't do anything that's against the law because the repercussions are rather uh, severe if if a person does criminal activities and then that's found out by by law enforcement it's very important to toe the line right now that's the first thing in addition don't do anything that can't be revoked like like taking someone's life or or taking one's own life or or anything of that nature nothing that's like so final as that you know now keeping in mind this is only a skit that's taking place within the context of our many higher selves I mean there are 72 dimensions 
The third and fourth dimension are getting this kind of rough treatment and these kinds of difficult choices, but very important choices at this moment in time. Okay, Whether we lose form or we don't lose form is not as important as we think it is because of we, we exist in so many different dimensions and timelines. You know, but nevertheless, what a waste of a wonderful physical body to to make some decisions based on the notion that the leader knows the right thing to do and is telling us when in fact the leader may not have risen to that awareness yet. The followers are rising to that awareness first. So, so my suggestion is if you start hearing things from your leader that sound a little odd, that don't sound like they fall within the normal range of the leader's, um, of the le leader's prerogatives, right? The thing to do is to sit down and talk with them on the physical plane, right? Find out if it was a daydream or something true, right? And, and that way we can get through this, this situation much more gracefully and easily, I think. Um, now it's hard for followers, very hard because we're dealing with like the feral drives, the primate and pack instincts and so forth, which have been, um, which have been operating through the unconscious thought cloud of the world for all these 11,000 years, okay? To teach us many soul lessons, of course, but right now, the, <coughs> the thing to do is to stand back and consider why we're taking certain actions and to try with our higher consciousness, our Christ consciousness, to, to think what Christ would do, okay? What would Christ do in a situation? Or, or if Christ is not our leader, then perhaps follow the commandments of Moses, who is a very hard thinker, I think, about what is needed to get along in the, in the world, in the civilized world, in a group, okay? And in conjunction with other groups, too, as the situation is today. It's not like there's just one pack right now and everybody has to toe the line, you know. Instead, there are many, many packs and they all have to get along pretty much together. And the way that that functions is through the law, okay? And, through our, and to take it a step higher, through our own higher consciousness and our own notion of loving Christ Christ consciousness and Christ awareness. So, so we have to find the middle ground where we don't uh, react to the leaders, but instead stand back in our own light of higher consciousness and decide whether we should be doing something or not. And if we're determined to follow the leaders, which I suggest is not such a good idea right now, because of the misunderstandings that can come up, because of the glom effect, and because it's harder to clear when we follow leaders, even family leaders, you know, or leaders of spiritual groups, any kind of leaders uh, right now, the thing to do is to s try to stand back and not do, not, not do that so much as before, to, to realize that we've come into our own wisdom, our soul wisdom, and that we can find that path ourselves yeah so so it may come up in your group that some people act uh, act out very uh, uh, in a very upsetting way and that the the responsibility for that lies in a way with the leader because the leader has been daydreaming but there is the true responsibility for each person on earth has to do with their own soul and and their own wisdom yeah so so we can't really blame it on the leaders we have to take responsibility for every act of our own in the world <laughs> that's a dynamic though the dynamic is that the suggestion is by the leader in an unconscious or subconscious way and that the followers thinking it's the right thing to do are are, even though it's exceedingly un, unusual, perhaps, are, are actually doing the thing. <laughs> well, y'all take care. I'm, I'm glad this has been found out, and I hope that it will be easier for each succeeding group that's ascending 
to, um, to not act out and to realize their own greatness um, without, without that, that group glom effect. Y'all take care. Love you all lots. And I uh, wish you the very highest and the very best.